So he's here from Advanced Quantitative Reasoning, and we're going to be looking at something called Euler circuits and pets. Now, here's a problem. This is Konzberg, a uh, bridge problem. The following figure shows the river. You know, we have a nice little river going around two little islands. And the residents of the city, uh, city occupy themselves by trying to find a walking path through the city that began and ended in the same place and cross every bridge exactly once. In other words, once they cross this bridge, they can't go back over it. And the shore, this north shore and this south shore, go ahead and count as something. Then we have this one and this one. So we have two bridges right here. We can go ahead and cross it once and then just come back to shore. Then go over, back over here, then cross over here from shore. Now remember, we have to get back over here to this shore since this is where we started. Get we'll go right through this path and then go back to this one. And there's no way we can get back. There's no other bridges have been taken. And so you can go ahead and try this for hours upon hours, which many have, and uh, not even find a path. And there's a reason for this. Uh, the uh, Something called an Euler circuit, meaning that we start exactly where we began and we cross every pathway we can go. So here's a little bit of vocabulary for you guys. Number one, don't don't worry, worry about that, is an Euler circuit. Now that just means that we take a path and we start where we began. Okay, well, end. We'll start uh, where we um, start where we finish. Start where we began. That sounds terrible. Anyway. So remember, this is a path that starts exactly where it finishes. Euler path, and also I need to go ahead and put in a little addendum, crosses all uh, pathways. Next one is called an Euler path. That doesn't, uh, that's something that uh, basically we're going to start and end at two different uh, points, but we've crossed all the edges. We've crossed all the paths. We've actually went through all the paths. Final one is, uh, okay, so no, some other ones. We have node. This right here represents a position on the map or position of where we're going to be at. That, it's just a dot. It's just the same thing as a dot. And edge is something like that. This is an edge right here. And it connects nodes together. So this represents a pathway. Degree is the number of paths from a node. So what you do is you take a look at this dot right here, this edge, and we look at the number of paths that leave it. Well, there's only one, and the same thing over here, there's only one. So that's the degree of the node. All right, so back to Cohensburg. So we have this problem, and to figure out if we have a path or a circuit, we're going to have to go ahead and at least draw a little bit of a map. So we have the North Shore, we have the South Shore. So that represents two different positions. So we're going to go ahead and put two dots for that. Okay. Then we have the two islands. And we're going to go ahead and put them somewhere around here. So I'm going to put that right here. This represents the island on the left, and this represents the island on the right. Now I'm going to connect them according to the number of bridges that it's connected. So this side is connected to this island twice. And then this island, this right here is, okay, this uh, side, or this shore is connected to this island once. Then these two islands are connected once. So I'll draw another one. This one, this island is connected twice to the other shore. So one and two. And then this, then finally we have one connection right here. So now we go ahead and get the degree of the nodes. So this node gets one, two, three, a degree of three. 
This one has a degree of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This has a degree of 5. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Now, I don't... Uh, so right now, you don't know the rules yet. So, we're going to use this as an example. This tells me already that just looking at this, that there is no circuit or a path. How do I know this? Well, we look at the number of even nodes. If there are no even nodes or... Okay, so in order to have a circuit, we need all nodes to have a even degree. That's the rule. That's the first rule. All nodes have to have an even degree. Pathway, well, two nodes in the entire circuit, and it doesn't matter how many there are there, there could be 15 of these little nodes, and it'd still be a circuit or a, or a path. So a path, two nodes, have an odd degree. Can't spell for a second. So two of nodes have an odd degree and all other all others, if there are any others, are even. So exactly two nodes exactly two nodes and that's it you can't have any more than this because this is what happens neither if more than two nodes have an odd degree Seems that I've been catching those bells a lot. Okay, so that's the rules. Those are all the rules. And here's an example to help you guys out. In fact, I'm not even going to look at that. I'm going to look at this one right here. So I have the Western Garden. These two are right here. This one has a degree of 1. This one has a degree of 1. This has a degree of 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3 right here. 1, 2. This is 2. And this is 1. There's no way in heck you're going to find a path or a circuit. And you can even try it. You know, you can go back this way. You can try to go ahead and do this. Once you're at this node, you can't go back along the edge. So it's impossible. And there must be a pathway that can take you back once you get to that particular place. It's like the doors here at certain schools. If you must enter one door and you have to only enter one door, there must be two doors in order to get out of the room. Let's check on this one, Easter Garden. This is two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, two. So in this example, this is actually an example of a pathway. This is an Euler path. And we'd have to start at, or start at this node and end at this one. So these are our start and end points, and that's the only ones that you can find. So let's see if I can draw a uh, Euler circuit for you guys. And, I, and actually, I have one that's really easy and real simple. So let's see. One, two, three, four. I'll just use four notes. Baseball diamond. Okay, well, not really. No, so we can check this one. And I'm not going to actually write down the edges because I'm going to be modifying this. So this has two edges. This one has two edges. This one has a degree of two. And this one has a degree of two. So they're all even. So this is an Euler circuit. And if you start right here, you can go all the way around and end up back where you started. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw another edge here. So now you have one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. So now, this is not an, a circuit, but it is a path. We have the start point and an end point right here. 
Then we can even do one more. All right. So this one still has a three. This one has a three now. This one is one, two, three, four. And this one has two. So this particular one is a, a pathway. If I do that again, right here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So this right here, this is a pathway because it has a degree of three. This has a degree of four, four, and three. So we're going to have starting end points right here. Now we're back to a circuit. Neither path. Or is that a path? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, this is a circuit and all that.